he probably came in in full cardiac arrest. Yeah. Was heading toward her and just fell and, uh, and took her just, and himself right into the wall. Fell right into the wall? Yeah. Would it be funny if they arrested her and charged her with murder? <laughs> like they, her legs it was murder. <laughs> there was a fat man on her legs, Sam. <laughs> he was napping, and she killed him. <laughs> she choked him with my members only, Jack. <laughs> Jim C. Oh, if, if we could go and find the body. Uh, <laughs> Jim C. Intrigue and murder. It's always murder with him. Why can't the guy just have come in, had a heart attack, and fallen on his wife? What was his boss's name with the gay porno mustache? <laughs> yeah. John Aston, his real name was. I don't know what his name in the show was. Oh, yeah. John Aston was in that? I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get the answer in a minute or two. I'm sure it's murder. Hey, um, <laughs> Anthony, before the break, was talking about how he got another gun. Yeah, yeah, Before yeah. Before you tell us, though, uh, mm -hmm. we got a Boston mm -hmm. home in... See, it's oh, not just Long Island. Jesus. We got another one, folks. Boston. And and in, and in uh, Snooton. Really? Oh, yeah. This, See, the, this, the home invasions happen in the nice areas because you don't want to invade a, a, a broke-ass home. Snooton or, you know, there's another name for Newton. Newton. Uh, yeah. Uh, change change a letter around. Uh, <laughs> blank town. Uh -huh. Make uh, my day, <laughs> Newton. <laughs> police search for suspects after home invasion. Uh, Newton, Massachusetts. Police are searching for a group of several men. Uh, yes, they broke in. B -b -b boy Thank God I'm so short that they didn't even see me. They looked right over my head, boy. They found my safe that had all your raises over the years. Yes, Jeez. there were tens of dollars were missing. You, you know how I had you working for me for pennies? Well, the money I should have used on you was in a safe. In a safe, along with well, our stock certificates. Well, the home invaders got it. Boys. I should have done the right thing back in the day. <laughs> and then maybe you wouldn't have said the mayor uh, died. B -b 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 -boys. Boys. <laughs> Linger longer, boy. Nice. Likes to act like he's an expert on us and yeah, and, and talk to the those manatees about what's wrong with our show. Shut <laughs> up. Look at the ratings. Go away. Police are searching for a group of several men accused of a violent home invasion. The men forced their way into a home on uh, Redwood Avenue in Newton on Friday night. As many as five armed oh, boy. men... Here's your worst nightmare. That is my worst nightmare. So you got five armed men. They come in the door. They blindfolded a woman, tied her up with duct tape, and then uh, police said the suspects made off with jewelry, a safe, and an undetermined amount of cash. Mm -hmm. Officials are looking for clues to help them identify the intruders. A sketch was released of a composite sketch of the man who acted as the ringleader. Uh, uh, come on. Big top hat and a whip. <laughs> the ringleader <laughs> how humiliating would that be uh because the woman was blindfolded she was <laughs> able to get a good look at the other of side. course it's kind of hard to get a good look that's why they blindfold you <laughs> dummy oh that's a nightmare so there you go you're minding your own business you think you're safe you buy the big house in the in the real nice neighborhood like yep. newton and they come crashing through the door five of them with guns they didn't say how they got in is there an open door, open window? Uh, no. Alarm wasn't armed, I guess. See, this uh, this uh, helps out your paranoia there. Uh, it's not paranoia. It's uh, live, It's reality. The reality of living in this day and age, you have to uh, you have to be prepared. Now, though, I'm pretty prepared. Now, I just I'm 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 just buying uh, guns that I like now. Yeah. I uh, purchased uh, uh, James Bond's gun. <laughs> The Walther PPK, the nickeled Walt the Walther PPK, it's the the gun of James Bond. You ever see one? No. Very nice. Oh, yeah. What are you gonna do with it? Uh, shoot it. At what? And it's uh very small, so it's very um you know concealable. What are you gonna shoot it at? Jaws? No, no. It's uh see are that's you, it right there. Look at it. Do you have like Not a, a isn't that a nice-looking uh, pistola? Why don't you, you just buy a little pocket hanky with JB on it? <laughs> <laughs> JB. It's a James Bond's gun. Are you doing it's James famous. Bond fantasies now? No, no. I just always wanted uh, a, a Walther uh, PPK. And uh, I told the guys at uh, the store, uh, Coliseum uh, Gun Traders, I love those guys over there. You know, the guys were very nice yesterday. Actually uh, tossed me um, like 500 rounds of 9 millimeter ammunition. 
That's wonderful. Just for the hell of it. That's wonderful. That's nice. That's how you know you're a psychopath when in the gun store they're throwing you complimentary bullets. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're our one millionth customer. <laughs> Congratulations. Here's some extra bullets, Lunatic. Uh, that means they've seen you a few times. <laughs> well, yeah. They've got to know you. They're a good bunch down there. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm, I think the, I got one more on the list that is a must-buy, and then I'll, I'll calm down a little, and that's the, the 50 Cal uh, Desert Eagle. That's the big... It's just a ridiculous... Ridiculous uh, uh, gun. Sure. So when are yeah. you sure. look at Jimmy? Sure. <laughs> so sure. when are you going to invite us to the gun range and so we could fire off some of these bad boys? Uh, right you're yet? not. You're not allowed. Why? Because you don't have a pistol. Uh, per yeah, but you I'll need do one. I can't. I shoot the rifles and stuff. Well, yeah, the rifles. All sure. right, let's go do it. Shoot some of those. Uh, that would be hysterical. Let's go do I it. I'd love to see. Uh, oh, Jimmy, come down there, blast let's, off a few rounds. Let's make a mandate. We'll have a mandate and go shooting. Let's go shooting. And go right there by a NASA Coliseum. Oh, that's right. Uh, right beyond the NASA Coliseum. You mean where they're building the lighthouse? Ugh. <laughs> Give us a starting date. <laughs> Enough with the dumb. Look height. at that. Look at that one. Oh, oh yeah. I, I'm I'm getting a nickeled one though. Yeah. They they sell gold ones that the the brothers really seem to like. The homeboys love that uh, gold plated. Desert Eagle. <laughs> How many uh, guns are you up to? I have no idea. That's a fifty I, I caliber what, bullet. That's How a fifty, big, 50 cal caliber's big. I don't know anything about bullets. Oh yeah, yeah that's a big round. That'll do some damage. Now, Anthony, oh yeah, little homework assignment. Come in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't want to give this info out, but yeah, I, I probably don't want to give it out. I, safe to say, you're up to about a dozen. Yeah, I could give or take. <laughs> <laughs> give or take. Uh, it's nice because it's I could accessorize. I look around. I look. I look and I go. What do I want to wear today? What do I want to wear? Do I? Is, is it a, a, a three eighty day? Is it a day for a forty five? Or maybe I want something a little lighter, like uh, maybe the forty. It's psychologist day. <laughs> is that what it is? It's always therapy or, day or or psychiatrist day. Yeah, one of those. It's days. nice. Some of them fit very close. Do you color coordinate? Who are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Smith and Wesson. Who are you wearing? Is that a Sig Sauer you're wearing? Uh, L Lydia <laughs> wants in this this thing. Hi, Lydia. Oh. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Lydia. I, Hi. I just can't help but be really, really concerned about Anthony. Now, Lydia, are you really uh, in the psychiatric field? Yes, I really am. And why would you be so I'm concerned? Not I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm a clinical psychologist. I have a PhD in clinical psychology as well as a few master's degrees. And uh, I'm very, I'm very, you know, now it's the gun collection. It's Fortress Cumia with armed guards. <laughs> I'm afraid Anthony's going to start a sect in Utah. I like it. Let me tell you something. When the ex moved out, all those shoes out of the closet. Now I have a her walk-in closet. Guns! Wait, you're out of the closet? No, of course not. Oh, I was looking, I'm I was staying in there as long as possible. <laughs> <laughs> what what color weapon do you think matches a straight jacket? Uh, I would probably go with the nice nickel-plated uh, 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 weapon on that one. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, for the uh, straight jacket. And then I was looking at some dandy uh, clothes. Uh, 511 uh, puts on some out some dandy-like jackets that have... Little, um, like concealed uh, uh, pockets that act as a holster, so you could just That's pop awesome. your pop it right in there. What's five eleven? I, I got to be the dummy here. I it's don't... a tactical clothing and uh, gear. Because I see you got the place. houseware. Yeah, yeah. I, I see you got the five eleven hat. I, uh, yeah, I think I I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to take a trip to a five eleven uh, dealer uh, uh, today. They got. Uh, I love the. There's like a sneaker boot Can shoe thing that's very nice. Can and uh, tactical pants and shirt. I got to be honest with you. You've been wearing that 511 hat for a while? Yeah. I thought it was another terrorist attack that just didn't get the publicity. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even joking. Not hey, don't forget, man, 511. <laughs> Always remember. Or a convenience store that didn't quite make it. Right. <laughs> well, because it's a, it's, it's a black hat, and I'm thinking, wow, something really bad happened on May 11th. Oh, <laughs> damn. It got so overshadowed by the other one. 
Right. You're then, like uh, you're so pissed off. Like nine eleven nine eleven boot. Nine eleven took all the uh, attention off this five eleven. And I'm here to say, look, do not forget about five eleven. Five eleven, man. Now scroll down to the one that almost looks like a sneaker. No, not that one either. You rock. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna uh, go down there. I found a, a place that deals in um uh, five eleven wear mm -hmm. down on the south shore. And I'll go down there and pick up pick up some things. Hey, I would wear some of this stuff. Yeah, that like they got cool stuff. Like do, they um. Do you need to wear uh, like uh, have a like a gun to wear this stuff? No, no. There's kind of a sneaker boot looking thing that's really cool. I think that's it. Yeah. And where do you wear yeah. all this stuff? And what do you? No, do wear it out just. The rain? Just wear it out uh, to work. You I'm, I'm not. Gun? Hey, what, what's that? that? Sneaker boot? You hold a gun in that thing? No, oh. no, no gun in that. It's just a nice looking sneaker hey, boot. Anthony, as a goof, wink, wink. Yeah. Would you uh, do like a session with Lydia just so she could like read you for us? Oh, what, Lydia? You wanna you wanna do a session and then you could uh, spill the beans on me? I'll give you permission. You gotta get. You gotta do a free one though. I know how you guys are. Uh, we are bad that way, but I would do a free one. But it'll have to wait for summer when I'm off from work. <laughs> Ugh. Why? What do you do for a real living? <laughs> Sorry, y'all have to make a real living, but I would love to give Anthony a little bit of uh, therapy time. All right, thank you, Lydia. Fine. I I see no problem in this. I I I like collecting uh, uh, firearms. I like exercising my Second Amendment right, and I like uh, cool um, cool guns. And they're saying that when you wear John in Utah, I don't have time to go to you, but he, it says Aunt Five Eleven clothes will flag you as a gun owner. So I, is that a, a good thing? That is true. Sometimes, sometimes it's good. Okay, I'm not doing anything illegal, so uh, I had, it doesn't matter to me. I had no clue what Five Eleven meant until today. I swear to God, I, like I really thought it was Five Eleven tactical. Tactical. I wanted to go to Wikipedia and see what happened on May 11th. Can you <laughs> May give me that? 11th, that's funny. I want to see what Anthony's supporting. God, Five Eleven. I, I, I hope it's some outrageous gay. <laughs> Gay thing that happened on May 11th. <laughs> oh God! Anthony's just lounging around the house comfortably in his his gun, his Kevlar underpants, <laughs> his itchy Kevlar underpants. <laughs> Let's go to Fontaine in Virginia. Uh, Fontaine. Hey, Opie. Hey. hey, Yimmy. Hey, buddy. Oh, Anthony, you're collecting TV guns now. Uh, how long before you? How long before? Tell me, how long before you put in an order for a space modulator, Anthony? Space modulator. <laughs> Very funny. No. I just, uh, I always wanted a Walter PPK. I like those no. uh, little uh, James Bond gun. You got all your gun fans calling from all over the country. Yeah, I know. Suggesting what, what gun you should buy next. I don't know if we have time to go to that right no, now. No, I said I'm, I'm probably getting the, um, what's that, uh, Iraq? Um, on May 11th, 1949, Israel joins the United Nations. Whoa. Hey, <laughs> I got to ace this hat. <laughs> is that it? Oh, well, actually, 1960 is what he's really supporting. In 1960, May 11th, the first contraceptive pill is made available on the market. Oh. Hey, see? <laughs> with this hat with pride. Picture of an infant with a circle and a line through it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Anthony, that's a, that's a big day. That's what that 5'11 boots for. <laughs> Oof, any oopsies. <laughs> Uh, leave a little maraschino cherry on the floor. <laughs> Care of 5'11". <laughs> hey, hey, 